The importance of the Suez Canal. I'm sorry, hold on a second here. So what, you're telling me before the Suez Canal existed, we just didn't have any common sense? So you're telling me to go from Western India to go to United Kingdom, more specifically Southampton? You had to go around Sri Lanka, Madagascar, which kind of makes sense, but they've just gone the wrong way about it. South Africa, which also makes sense. Puerto Rico, doesn't make sense. And then all the way to the United Kingdom. That is just a waste of petrol. Oh wait, no, they didn't use petrol. That is a waste of wind. See, we got it easier nowadays. See, us post Suez Canal kids do not know how fortunate we are. Apart from the fact that I'm pretty sure this route that they are showing on this map, he has quite literally missed the Suez Canal. Countries that are South Sudan. So as we can see, the ones in green are not South Sudan, so pretty much most of the world for some reason. Not sure why that is. And then the red is South Sudan. The red is South... The red... Where's the red? There's no red. Why is there no red? So I guess that means the ones that have no data are the ones that could possibly be South Sudan. Right, Greenland, Western Sahara, and South Sudan. Own up, which one is it? United States, exercise one. Jeez, I didn't expect any homework today, but here we are. How many states can you identify and label on this map? Well, that's an easy one. First of all, we have got uh, Wyoming. Horizontal, Alabama. North, horizontal, Alabama. Minnesota. Megasota. Italy. Wait, hold on a sec. I've just realized this map is horribly wrong. What is this thing? That piece of land was never there when I went to Florida. So what's going on here? National animals of European countries. I mean, looking at this map at a first glance, it doesn't seem too bad. I was going to assume that these are like the most popular animal that lives in each country, but then I just saw something that just doesn't look right. Are we sure they're lions in Prague? I, d I don't want to assume, you know, but are we sure it wasn't just a very hairy man outside of a pub? What rubs the salt in the wound even further is the fact that the UK's is a domesticated dog. You know, all these uh, countries I've got these amazing wild animals, you know, the bear, the bear, the bear with horns. And for the UK, they just give us a dog breed that is known for struggling to breathe. In search of the USA, Christopher Columbus set sail across the Atlantic. However, in 1492, he stumbled across what he thought was Scotland, a place that would later be known as Japan. He would have, he would have had to go up no, it doesn't even make sense when I think about it in my head. England and Scotland are quite literally connected by land. How can you go across the ocean and assume that you're still on the same goddamn island? Do you know how long you would have had to travel across the ocean as well to end up from England to Japan? At least a goddamn day, I can tell you that much. Honestly, I, I, I've only just now looked at the picture properly. I mean, Wales finally got independent, uh, physically, not politically. The Republic of Ireland is now run by uh, Kim Jong-un. But in China, the European Union is certainly a brave move. They just wanted to be part of Eurovision, I understand. For some reason, Northern Ireland is south of Ireland. I feel like the guy that made this map probably is never allowed to step foot in Japan, China, or North Korea. I mean, he, he didn't really have a choice when it came to North Korea, but the others? They've got a warrant out for his arrest, that's for sure. Cow to person ratio in Wisconsin. Sometimes I wonder who goes to these lengths to get this kind of data. If someone told me to go around Wisconsin and count every single cow, I'd, I'd probably break the world record for the world's fastest LinkedIn registration because I ain't doing all of that, you know what I mean? And then I assume that county right there with the no data has been completely overrun by cows and is actually a no-go zone for humans now. This is what could have happened to Australia if those emus weren't so nice and forgiving, you know? Take lessons, people. Don't befriend animals. They are not friends to us on this planet. They are simply acquaintances. I've seen how they treated us humans on Planet of the Apes. They are lucky I wasn't on that planet when that whole kerfuffle was going on. Map of US states with lighthouses. It's just so unfair to see injustice in this world. What do you mean countries without the ocean don't have lighthouses? Nice try, buddy. I've seen plenty of houses in Colorado with lights. And it's nice to know that people in Colorado feel like they're included, but deep down, they just don't know how hard they've got it. Wait a goddamn second. Hold the goddamn, goddamn phone. Why has Vermont got a lighthouse? Soda is taking over. I, I, I struggle to believe that Americans actually say soda. To be fair, I struggle to believe we call it fizzy drinks. Soda actually sounds a lot better. We should start calling it soda. I want to know why there's a corridor of people in Wyoming and Montana that just refuse to say pop. Is that like a political thing? Maybe this is the start of a Wyoming empire? Pop just doesn't sound right, however, so I'm glad to see it's downfall and that soda is on the rise. Coke has had a massive decline. Wow, I didn't realize how serious this stuff is. This guy has just commented, pop has fallen. Billions must drink Dr. Pepper. I didn't even know people selectively chose to drink Dr. Pepper. 
map. Map of Europe with all the islands and peninsulas deleted and set to Cyprus. Well, I don't know why Cyprus is getting special treatment, but fair enough. But when you think about it, isn't Europe just technically a peninsula of Asia? I know that's pretty controversial to say. Don't get mad at me, but you know what I mean. A map showing where Forrest Gump ran. Bloody hell. It's really not that far, honestly. Like, what? That's like... What, 30 centimeters? No, but in all seriousness, why did he not stop a third time? Where, what, why, what, where? You know, this has honestly just made me realize how unrealistic that Forrest Gump movie is. You know, I kind of had my suspicions when that guy was naming shrimp dishes for like 10 hours straight, but this really just puts the final nail in the coffin. How can one run from Alabama to California without stopping? But I think we do need to address the fact that this guy was obviously on performance enhancing drugs and nobody just bat an eyelid to it. Because I mean it's got to take a lot of strength. And I mean a lot of strength to want to run through Minneapolis. You're telling me he done that sober? Absolutely not. Wales looks like a man in a hat pointing at Wexford. You know, I've been looking at Google Earth many, many years and I've only just realised this. I've also only just realised Wexford exists. What actually goes on on this like little peninsula of Wales? I've really never noticed it. Hold on a sec, I've got to do some investigating. Not a lot, apparently. It's the Lynn area of outstanding natural beauty, okay? I'll be the judge of that. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's exactly what I expected from Wales. <laughs> Sheep, hills, sky, surprisingly blue. And a tiny road that can actually fit two cars on it, but people like to drive down the middle of it, making you have to pull over and just ram your car into the verge because they have no spatial awareness. I'm not joking when I say you can put yourself in any part of Wales and you will see a herd of sheep every single time. Watch this. Look, I'm being dead serious. God damn it, those are cows. Bigfoot report locations. Bloody hell, this guy's been about, hasn't he? Damn, even, he's even been to New York City, apparently. What business has Bigfoot got in Florida that has made him walk around every single neighborhood? Is he like a fan of golf or something? Look, he's even been to Las Vegas, apparently. I mean, he's got to make those funds for traveling around America some way, shape or form, you know? I mean, if this guy was really smart, you know, this Bigfoot geezer, he would have started a vlog channel. Could have been like the bald and bankrupt of America, but with like hair follicles, you know? Ranger of the Great White shark in blue. Notice how they have never been on land or anything like that. Shows you we're meant to be scared of them but in my opinion they're pussies. You have to delete two countries which two are you deleting? Um I'd probably say France for one because I really want England to like have a chance of winning the Euros. And then I'd probably say Bayes and Stoke uh, no particular reason other than the fact that I just don't like their roundabouts. Right, we've been through a lot of maps and we have pretty much caught up from all the maps from the previous episode. So I think it's good to leave it there. So thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then feel free to leave a like and maybe subscribe as we are super close to 10 million subscribers. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.